Hello, everybody, and welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Um, I'm Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and I will be doing the show today. So I hope that everybody is having an amazing beginning to their week so far. There are so many things I want to share with you guys that I think personally are hilarious. Um, but before we get there, uh, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, uh, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Yep, that's the number. If you'd like to join us live, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. You can join us live on YouTube. You can call in and ask questions or connect with loved ones or or you can um, uh, join us on any of the podcasts that I um, go live on. Okay, first, and um, there's 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 so much humor out there from our sitting POTUS, and the funniest joke I think he told recently was that he's going to, and I want to get this correctly, so please bear with me release everybody that is, um, I am paraphrasing, so please forgive me, um, in a federal, in a federal, uh, prison for minor, um, minor marijuana. Okay. Anything less than an ounce is never a federal offense. Hey, big Joe, who you releasing? Nobody. Zero squat diddly. See, it's the way you say things sometimes, and if people aren't paying attention and they don't know, here's the thing that where I go with this. Is this for votes for people who think now all the pot users are getting out of jail, or is this the Brittany Grimer thing again? I don't know, but Joe, get your facts straight. If you're the sitting POTUS and you don't know that people who have minor pot infractions don't go to federal prison. Please tell me you were punking us because that's a better answer than what you said in your speech. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay Joe. Are they playing with your meds again? <laughs> okay, it's not nice to uh, pick on people who are, you know, on meds. So I'm going to stop there with POTUS. Anyway, tell me if you're on YouTube watching, tell me what do you think about that? What do you think about POTUS releasing all the minor state level pot infractions from federal prison? <laughs> Joe, you crack me up. Oh, he's a comedian, that one, isn't he? Oh, our, our, our POTUS is always coming with jokes. Good for him. Okay, I want to say hi to everybody online. Hey, um, who's watching on YouTube? Caroline Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Sal. Hey, Terry. Um, and I also have Fawn here. Hey, Fawn. Okay, so Fawn asked if we could do a clearing for acceptance. Um, that's what my inner child needs. So what I'm going to do two clearings. I'm going to go... Um, uh, we feel accepted, needed, wanted. I get a no. Let's clear that. And then our inner child has healed. I definitely get a no. Let's clear that. That's right at the like whew, three minute mark of the show. And then Terry asked online, Terry asked on YouTube in the YouTube chat, Terry asked, um, where will I meet my man? Will he be a good match for me? Yes. The second part is yes. Where? Outdoor event. Out to, you're going to meet your man outdoors. And I see, I hear tiki, tiki. I don't know what that means in this. I know what tiki means, folks. I don't know what that means for this specific situation. And then I'm seeing a thing where there are like um poles and then um these outdoor lights string lights hanging from pole to pole with um clear bulbs but like the the, the yeah, with with 
lights, outdoor lights hanging from them. I hear the word Tiki. I hear you're going to meet them. Meet him outdoors. And I feel like you are going to, and then I hear the word game, G-A-M-E, game. And I feel like they're it, like, uh, although the lights are on and I feel like this is more toward the evening, I don't know if you are, oh, maybe you're someplace watching some sort of game or at some outdoor event watching some sort of game or you are um, in, in, um, at, at some sort, I don't know, but that's what I'm getting for you. I hope that is very, very helpful for you. Um, and yes, you guys will be a good match. Uh, I feel like this particular situation has the potential to go a very, very, very long way, a very long way. Okay. I am going to start taking callers to all of my callers. I love you. And by the way, everybody, thank you so much for joining me here. I'm so grateful to have you here with me um, today, joining me. And for everybody watching, listening, uh, thank you so, so very much for taking this journey with me. I am going to start taking callers. And again, if you'd like to call in, it's 845-277-9131. When I call your area code, please let me know what your name is and where you're calling from. Also, if I'm on speakerphone or car phone, please take me off of that so that it can be a little bit more audible and um, have a specific question or connection available. If you want to connect with somebody on the other side, very, very happy to do that for you. Please make sure that if there is someone you want to connect to on the other side, um, uh, you and there's a specific question or conversation you want to have with them, please let me know that um, right away. Okay. Um, otherwise, I am going to get started here. I am going to go to the very first First person, two, 216, actually, uh, 780, you're going to be next. Hi there, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, let me, I just turned my volume up. My name is Sharon, I'm from Ohio, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, thank you so much for asking. Thank you for calling in. How can I help you today? Thank you, not often I can, only on holidays, because today's a Monday holiday. Um, you know, I I want to see what you can pick up on this. I've been at my job for, uh, it'll be three years in January. I really enjoy it. I'm asking what the spirits can say. I'm thinking about considering posting for like another position in my, you know, in my company, like a different department. And do you think... I should wait till next year, or would this be a good move if I decided to? Or okay. should I just leave it alone and like learn a little bit more for the next year? No. Okay. Thank you for calling and thank you for asking. Ooh, I like this answer. Um, definitely, if there is something that is a good fit, post for it. Go for it. What uh -huh. the heck? Just do it. I do feel like um, anytime we can go for something that we can, can bring us a little bit more money or, or move us up. We should always Knowledge. do it. Yes. I know. And you know, sometimes we just need that switch, especially inside of a company. Now do not go outside of your company. Um, stay within your company. Um, so I don't know why they're giving me that message. I don't know. Maybe um, in a, in a month or so you might have a feeling like, I think it's time for me to look at something else right now for a minimum of six months. Stay within your company. I do feel like I don't know if you're going to get Absolutely. the first um, posting that you post for, but keep po keep keep going for inner company co company postings. I, I know I'm not saying that correctly and I, I just want to apologize for, for yes you are. It's okay. A good company. Thank oh, you. Yeah, there's lots of opportunity. Oh yeah. Um so anything internal go for anything outside of the company don't go for and I do feel like I, I just want to explain this a little bit further for you. I feel like someone's gonna come up to you with a 
hey, my company, or I heard this company, and it's going to be very tempting. Don't be tempted. Um, I feel like whatever you're going to see or hear, whether it be perusing, whatever, it's not going to be as good as what you have right now. So stay where you are. You will get moved in the company. Even if it's a bit of a lateral move, it will come with a little bit of I know. bumps. So uh, bump in pay, not bumps in the road, like bump in pay and bump in stature. So keep learning, keep moving. Um, you're going to be happy that you did that. Okay. And if you don't, if you, if you apply for the first posting and you don't get it, don't worry. That wasn't the right one. It, it you will get the right one for you. Okay. There you go. <laughs> that was perfect. Don't use it. No, that was, whew, that took a lot. No, I get it. I don't plan on leaving. I really don't. It's a good company, but thank you for your insight. I just, I just wanted to see what you felt. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. You are so welcome. And I am so grateful that this was helpful for you. I know it can be uh, always like, and if you, and again, just one little last thing again, if you don't get the first one or, or whatever, it's not rejection. Um, they have a listing and the sooner you start to get on that listing, the sooner you can move up. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. You are so Thank welcome. You. Oh my goodness. Absolutely. My pleasure. You are so welcome. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and happy holiday. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Okay. You too. Thank you so much. You were so spot on my last question. It was about three, maybe three months ago I called. Perfect uh -huh. answer. You were so right. Oh. Just wanted to give you a confirmation. Thank you. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so Have much. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Okay. So, Terry, hey, uh, Jennifer. Hey, Lolly. Hey, Jennifer. Happy Thanksgiving, Jennifer. Um, I'm going to go definitely uh, to 780 now. 780, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, it's Jay calling from Canada. Grateful hello to you. Hey, how are you, Jay? Doing better. Um, it's been quite an interesting month. I haven't talked to you for a bit. Usually when I'm calling you on Monday, I have my day off. So uh, nice. that's good for talking to you today. Thank you so much. Well, how can I help you, Jay? Yes, thank you. Um, I just like maybe a message from my mother or someone who's going to come forward in terms of my, um, I don't know, preparedness and just, um, I don't know, just to get a little bit tired right now, a little bit fatigued. I just wondered uh, any inspirational messages from the other side, uh, past ones that love uh, that passed on to keep on going. Okay, so Jay, the first thing I hear it's a, and I wish I just would have said it right away. I but I you know I hear stay strong, stay strong, stay strong. There is a relief coming, not maybe all the relief that you would be hoping for, but there is relief coming. Um, so please stay strong. I do feel like you are going to have some changes come in in approximately a month. In approximately a month, you're going to have some changes come in. These changes are going to be hmm. Um, so sometimes, folks, sometimes I hear just a word in my head and I am waiting for the rest before I say it because maybe the word seems so whatever and they're like, just say it, just say it. So I'm just going to say it. Uh, these changes are going to be critical. Um, now, and that the reason why I didn't want to say that is because in my head, I'm going critical in what way, but maybe you already know in what way they're going to be critical, but these are going to be critical life changing, life changing changes that are going to um, help you 
move forward. Um, so whatever's coming in next is actually very good for you is what I'm getting in about a month. It's going to be very good for you. You're going to feel a big relief. Like, um, some burdens have been taken off of you. Like some burdens have been taken away. Like you're not carrying everything on your own and almost like I hear the word intercede interception, like somebody, something or somebody's going to come in and help with, in some way with whatever it is that you've been carrying by yourself. They're going to relieve, release or relieve some of this. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. And and on that, let's do a clearing for you, everybody listening, re-listening. Um, we have let go of our, how about uh, we have let go of our burdens? I get a no, let's clear that. And then I'm going to, do we have let go of the past? And I definitely get a no. So let's clear that. And um, again, that is at the 16, approximately the 16 minute mark of the show. And um, please uh, spend time meditating and spend time. You know, I, you know, we use the word meditation, just spend time in silence and or prayer or meditation, whatever you, you personally call it, spend time in that um, because that's the one way we can strengthen ourselves right now is by being in that space um, of, 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 um, of prayer or meditation or reflection, however, whatever we want to call it and however we want to look at it. Okay, Jay. Okay. Excellent. I hope, I hope this was helpful. I really hope this was helpful. It's always your, your guidance is always grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jay. And I hope you have a beautiful day of today. And thank you so much for calling in. Have a have a great full day and great for people on the hold right now too. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you. If you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Now that's not if you if you want a private session, the private session is uh, through my website uh, www.tonig.info or my business number 414-897-2869. I'm going directly to 917-917. What's your name and where are you calling from? Sure, my name is uh, Tim and I'm calling from New York. Hey Tim, how are you today? Thanks for taking my call today. Absolutely my pleasure. How I'm can I help good. you? Ah, yeah, so I was just calling to see if there's any uh, word from spirit. I've been, uh, you know, doing a helpful point of prayer, trying to clear myself, keep energy high, and just ask for a sweet, like some abundance in, and we have something new. So, uh, you know, I've been trying to pivot from the fear and just allow the abundance. If there's any messages or just some spirit, would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, for you every and everybody watching and or listening, we're going to do, um, I am clear, I get a no, let's clear that. Our space or home is clear, I get a no, huh, let's clear that. Um, let's clear that also. And then let's do, um, I just did this morning, I think I did... Nope, I didn't. Um, it's going to be maybe uh, later this week. I'll do this. Uh, I am strong. I get a no. Let's clear that. And this, again, Tim, this is collective, but for you also, uh, my energy is strong. I get a no. Oh, <coughs> did that hit? <coughs> hey, did anybody else just feel that? <laughs> Oh, okay. We're going to clear that 100% getting that out of the way also. Hoo-wee. Okay. So those are the clearings. Now, whenever somebody talks about abundance, I always say when you're manifesting, be very, very exact. And I'm going to tell you when I have manifested or prayed and I was extremely exact, um, what I was extremely exact about 
100% came through. Um, if I'm vague about it, it takes a little bit longer. Um, so when we're manifesting abundance, abundance is a catch-all. So if you want money, say money, wealth, and the amount, and go incrementally. We often think people say they want to manifest winning the lottery because they want all the money at once. We forget this isn't the genie's lamp. We don't only get three manifestations. Our whole life is manifesting. Our whole life is creating. Every single day is one creation after the next, after the next, after the next manifestation. And we're on autopilot. So we don't realize we're manifesting. We're manifesting, keeping our job or, or go, having clients or doing this, but it's just on autopilot. So if we're not continually upping our manifestations incrementally by small or large steps, then we're going to stay in the same manifestation that we originally created. So in your case, if you're uh, manifesting money, and I think everybody should be manifesting money all the time, it's just like food, um, and we need it in this life, it's something we need. Everybody is like, oh, money, the, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, without it, we don't eat. We don't have a place to live. We, we don't survive, just like with oxygen, okay? We, we need it to live, water, oxygen, uh, food, and uh, the money to pay for said things. We need it. So what I'm going to say to you is um, start with small amounts. And this isn't only for you, Tim. It, it's for everybody listening like play with it, have fun with it, test it, see if it works. Just say, hey, you know what? I want to manifest X amount. Now, what, what amount is for you and what amount I would manifest? They might be completely different things. But I will tell people I've manifested amounts upward of 60000 I've manifested two brand new vehicles that I didn't have to pay not even the taxes on. Um, I've manifested a lot of really huge, big, beautiful things. And I've manifested a lot of really little things that were very important to me too. feel it, know it's possible, believe it's possible, and then jump into it. But, but give exact amounts. Don't leave it up to the universe. Give exact, exact amounts and tr go from there and watch the beauty that comes in and then play with that. Play with that as though you're making an actual tangible model of something. Okay, Tim? You are so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for that. I am going to uh, say hey to uh, Sal. Um, Patrick, happy birthday, Patrick. Everybody say happy birthday to Patrick. Um, hey, Heather, so happy you're here with us. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with everybody and make sure I say hi to everybody on uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, okay, so somebody asked a question. Yeah, <laughs> Patrick, I hope he, I, if, if you guys follow Patrick on any of his social media, Patrick is um, always showing pictures of the food that he's making. I'm just going to say I've never I've never eaten his food, but it looks amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. But I hope your birthday cake is uh, really good. And if you're making it yourself, I absolutely want to see a picture of it. Um, Sal wants to know any info on the U.S. banks. Sal, I think I know what you're asking. And as of this moment, steady as she blows is the answer I'm receiving. I've um, tested this five ways from Sunday to, you know, double down on things for myself as much as everybody else. Anytime anybody asks me, as of this point, I get the same answer. Cash is king. Um, I don't know if or when that's going to change, um, but we will see. We will see. 
Um, that That is a really good question, though. Thank you so much for asking that. Okay. Hey, everybody, if you are on YouTube or any other social media and you're enjoying the content, please do like and share. Um, we're going to keep going. I'm going to go to the very next caller, 201. And if you would like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. Okay, eight, uh, 201, <laughs> how can I help you? Hi, hi, Miss Tony. How are you? Good. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Jackie. I'm calling from New Jersey. Hey, Jackie. How can I help you today? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to see if I could communicate really specifically with my dad. There's some things that I want to put in order that I know he would want me to do. And I just need some guidance to get it done because things are kind of straining me financially and, you know, dealing with other family members who are not really on board. And I just want to see if I could get a connection with either him or my mother. So I know my father would get right to the point. Okay, so your dad is here. So what would be the one question you would want to ask your dad? How do I move in the house and get the work done and at least have some cooperation? Yeah, okay. So the answer I'm getting is, um, okay, here's what I'm going to tell you that I'm hearing. So please take do what you will with this. Um, those things are not going to fit together, okay? So you can move in the house and try to get the work done, but nobody's going to cooperate. Um, you can try to get the work done and still you're going to have a lot of difficulty getting the work done. Okay. Um, everybody's on different pages and every, I, I just see like 20 hands out, like palms up, hands out. I think Nobody is agreeing with what needs to be done or should be done. Some people think if you get in the house, you're never going to get out of the house. Um, they don't want this to take any longer than they feel it should take. Um, I'm hearing as is. Uh, some of the people involved might be thinking just let it go as is. Um, so, so. It, it, you're just basically depending on how, where you personally are with everything and whomever is written as in charge is basically just either if, if there's one person like a trustee or the, the power of whatever, they're just going to have to make decisions and not give a happy hoo-hoo what anybody else thinks or cares about. And they're just going to have to move forward and do things. But if they... Or they're going to have to take a, a vote and only give two choices, choice A and choice B, because everybody is all over the board wanting different things in different ways. Thank you, everybody, so much for calling in, listening in, watching in, taking your time and spending it with us. Thank you so much. If you think this was something you enjoyed and you would like to see it again, if you're on YouTube or any other blog uh, podcast or radio station, please like and hit that subscribe or follow button. Um, I love each and every one of you so, so, so much, so much. Uh, I will be back Wednesday at noon for another 60 minutes. Happy birthday again, Patrick. And um, until Wednesday, have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.